Good morning and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Well, today we have a little pre-Thanksgiving treat for you. This workout is called Wobble Before You Gobble and it will hopefully be a very efficient way to get a leg burn before you celebrate your holiday. So, what it's going to look like is we're going to go through some heavy squat sets. We are going to go through some supersets for hamstrings and glutes. And then we are going to do some weighted hip thrusts in between those supersets. Now, I am not sure how long this workout will take, but I'm hoping it will be around 30 or 40 minutes. So we'll see how it goes, and we will have a good time doing it. What we're hoping for in the next month or so is to do some more efficient um, small space holiday themed workouts for you because we know this time of year gets very busy but it also gets very stressful and you do need something to help you relieve all that stress something positive to help you relieve all that stress so we're hoping to be just that for you during this holiday season so you're going to need to grab your heavy weights you will need to grab your water of course in abundance and your exercise mat and I will see you back here for the warm up all right guys, let's get ready with that warm up. Let's start with some jumping jacks. Stay here for a minute. Get that blood pumping, blood flowing. You don't want to jump today. You go right ahead and do a low impact jack. Let's take those arms out in front, crisscross. Right now I'm doing palms down. We will do palms up in a second. All right, switch those arms. Now we're gonna bring those arms to the front. I always mess up on that part. <laughs> Always stop and get reset, no worries. All right. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go in for some single leg deadlifts, okay? I really want our hamstrings to be nice and warmed up here. So you're gonna take a soft knee. You're gonna contract your core. Send that leg back. Back nice and flat. You may get off balance. You know me and my early morning balance. It's actually not too early today. As you can probably tell from the sun streaming in my blinds. But it's still morning. <laughs> so my balance is still no good. I had a cutie little tiny guy in my bed last night which made for some interrupted sleep, which means my balance is even worse. So just know the days that you get not so good sleep or not such good hydration, your balance is going to be a little off. Let's do one more each side. Dynamically warming up those hamstrings. Awesome. All right, shake it out a little bit. We're going to go into some squats, okay? I'm going to put my hands in prayer position. Pray that my knee isn't too crackly. <laughs> Although, I don't know that that prayer is going to be answered today. Seems like it's a little crackly. Now you can put those toes out a little. If that is better mechanically for you, just make sure your knees follow. So back in those heels. Back up straight, squeeze at the top. Two more. And last one. Awesome. If you hear a little guy whisper voice in the back, that is my smallest little sweetie who's with me today. Alright, we're gonna go side to side, going for those toes. Let's not forsake that upper back. Come up in the middle, come to the toe, twist. 
your spine. You have to take care of your spine when you're doing anything, but especially lower body stuff. Up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. And over. All right, we're gonna shake it out again. We're gonna do some frog pumps. Because why not? Let's activate those glutes a little bit before we get going. All right, let's do 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Send one leg up for a one leg hip bridge, glute bridge. One, two, three, four. You can do it elevated if you want to. That's a good way to do it. Five, six, we're going for 10. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. All right. Your warm up is complete. Hop on up there from the floor. All right, guys, we are ready for that four by six set. We're going to do six reps, four rounds of it, okay? And then we're going to follow each round with five box jumps because why not? All right. So let's get it started. I'm going to use 30 pounds per hand here, plus my 12 pound weighted vest is going to be 72 pounds. So let's go. All right, six reps. One, weight in the heel. Two, chest up nice and tall. Three, four, five, last one, six. All right, get those weights way out of your way so that you can do box jumps safely. If not, add your favorite plyo move for five. One. Two. It may take you a while to get warmed up. Three. It does me. Four. Five. All right, next set. I always have to make sure I keep track of mine. Or I'll end up doing way too many. <laughs> All right, second round. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Tighten your core. Six. Very important. Tighten that core. All right. Time for box jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome job. Ready for set three. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let them down. That's your third set. Bring it down. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five more box jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome work. Last set of these four by sixes. I'm moving through this rather quickly just to be efficient, but if you need extra time, take it. 
Break the workout up. Use the time that you need to do each part, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome job. Last set with that weight. I'm gonna go up to 40 pounds per hand here for the next group. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right. Great job. Take a little breather. Grab a drink. We'll get ready for those five by five sets. So again, five rounds, five reps with each round. I'm going with 40 per hand plus 12. I'll have a 92 pound squat here. And I'm just telling you my weights so that you'll know. But I want you to use something that's challenging for you and not worry a bit about how it compares to anybody else's. Be proud of your progress, okay? All right, here we go. One, we're going for five. Two. Three. Four. Five. You know what's next. You know what's next. All right, mark that one down. We've got five box jumps. Here we go. Now, if you want to jump directly down, you can. Two. Three. My little ones aren't up yet, so I'm going to step it up. Four. And five. Awesome. Whew. All right, ready for our second set. Here we go. One, two, don't forget that core. Three, squeeze. Four, five. Whew. Make all the ugly faces. No worries. You're still getting it done. That's your second set. Whew. Awesome job. You need more rest? Take it. One. Two. I don't know why, but box jumps make me so happy. <laughs> Sick. Four. Last one. Five. Awesome work. Here we go. To that third set. Those five box jumps, incidentally, will add up. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Whew. Not easy, but worth it. All right. Third set. Knocked out. Here we go. Five box jumps. One, two, three, four. Get those knees up. Five. Whew. Awesome work. Getting ready for that. Fourth round, doing awesome. One, two, three, four, five. All right. 
Great work. Fourth round. Whew. Done. All right, five box jumps. One. Two. Three. Four. I'm using my 20 inch box today. 20 inch box. All right, we're ready for that last set of the five by five squats. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hard to push through those heels at the end of that. Awesome. Here we go. Five box jumps, and we go to four by six. Because why not? Why not pound those legs out? One, two, three, four, last one, five. The best makes a difference when you're jumping. Feel like lead legs. All right, awesome job. Make sure you're the, not the one carrying the gravy boat to the table after you get your wobbly legs from this. Putting back the weights. Gonna increase by 10 pounds. So then I'll have 50 pounds per hand. Plus the best, I'll have 112 pounds. This one, I'm only doing four reps. So I wanted to really challenge myself with the weight. If I feel like my form is getting out of whack, I will take it down, okay? Nothing is more important than your safety. So make sure you always remember that. There's always another day to challenge yourself, but not if you get hurt, okay? All right. We have six rounds of this, four reps, okay? Four at a time. One. Two, three, four. Whew. Awesome. First round done. In the books. All right. Make sure those weights are nice and safely out of your way for those box jumps. One, two, Three, which means at the top. Four, five. Awesome work. Get my heart rate nice and high. Here we go. Four. One. Two. Three. Second set is done. Awesome. Five box jumps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome work. Take a drink. Get your breath. On to your third set here. Halfway through with this brutal squat circuit. Last round. All right. One. Two. Three. Done. Time to jump. Time to jump. 
No stress here this morning. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Awesome. <laughs> this is my second time doing this workout this week. Uh, first time I did it, I had my new camera on too high a video quality, so it shut off after six minutes. <laughs> oh yeah. Whew. Here we go. Set four. So I had no film. Two. Three. And four. Awesome. Tighten that core the whole time. Four set done. Two more. Just that back out. Get any pops and crackles out of the way. One. Two. Three. Four. But I wanted you guys to have the entire workout. So I re recorded. <laughs> Today, so you may have different looking footage, different pants <laughs> in your videos. <sighs> Two more sets. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Just four. <sighs> One. <sighs> Two. <sighs> Three. And four. Is finished. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Watch your toes. Five. Awesome. Last set of four. All right, here we go. I'm getting a little slower with each set. That's okay. One, two, three, four. Nice. Last five box jumps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're comfortable jumping on your box with your weight vest before you go and try to tackle a long workout with it. Whew. All right, you're finished with this quad circuit. Take a quick drink and a break. Your next set is gonna be a superset group for hamstrings and glutes. Eight reps each exercises, three sets, we're going heavy, okay? First exercise is a deadlift, and your second exercise is an elevated glute bridge on the left, okay? In between, we're gonna do 20, uh, Elevated glute bridges, or you can also do hip thrusts on an elevation, whatever you want to do. So, off we go. I'm going to again start with probably about 30 pounds per hand for the deadlifts, just to make sure I'm nice and warmed up. Not a huge amount of weight, but got to be ready. Rather be a little conservative and Avoid injury. All right, here we go. Eight. This feels so light now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice soft knee. Roll those shoulders down and back. Look four feet in front of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and 
Eight. Definitely want to go higher on that one next time. All right. Gains. <laughs> Sorry, that's so obnoxious. Okay, first set of those deadlifts are done. Now we're going to do the elevated glute bridge. So I'm going to go on my box here. Left foot's on the box. If you keep those toes nice and up, you'll feel it in your hammies too. One, two, three, four. Let's go for 16. Five, six, seven, eight, Woo. nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Awesome. All right, here we go. Up for those deadlifts again. That was probably a really beautiful way to get up. I'm glad you all got to see that. Rolling. All right. I did forget one thing. We have a set of 20 weighted glute bridges. So I'm going to do mine elevated, I think. We use about 40 pounds. We've got those in between each set. Now we can also do those hip thrusts as well. So no big deal. All right. Hope you can still see me <laughs> down here. My camera angle may be a little bit off. So here we go. We're going to safely get that weight up to our hips here. I'm going to elevate. You don't have to. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just pinch myself. Nine, ten. We get closer. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, squeeze, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome. All right. Slowly and carefully get that weight down, okay? I'm going to leave that right there for my deadlifts. Might take the vest off of those weighted hip bridges because couldn't get close enough to the elevation. All right. I'm using 40 pounds per hand this time, and I'll probably stick here for those deadlifts. All right, off we go. You can take a 20 to 30 second break in between these supersets, no problem. That is what you should do. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Awesome. Now we've got those whew, elevated glute bridges. And then the hip thrust. I'm just going to take that off. A little awkward. All right. Make sure my box is against the wall. Still on the left leg here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. You can put your best on your hips. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Try to push straight up. Fifteen, sixteen. Awesome. Back to the weighted hip bridges or hip thrusts. If you're doing it that way. Awesome. This one's a hard one to negotiate. Getting up to, but it's worth it. All right. I'm gonna scoot close. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm using 40 pounds. Eight, nine. We're going to 20. Ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Whew. You can also do these from the ground and just come up that way, especially if your elevation is slipping on you. All right, getting that weight to the side, getting up gracefully. <laughs> All right, we're on to our third round. Make sure I'm keeping track of that. Okay, that's back on. Third round. All right. Here we go. One, soft knees. Two, three, four, five, squeeze at the top. Six, seven, and grit your teeth. Eight, awesome. Right, last set on that left leg. Awesome, awesome. So I've got my vest on. Oh well. All right, let's just get through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smile. Nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Awesome. All right, roll it over. Get up. All right, that was your third set, okay? Your next superset is going to be pigeon deadlift with an elevated glute bridge on the right. So basically the same thing we've been doing. I'm gonna lighten my weight here, lighten up my weight. More smoothly, I say, as the bottom drops out of it. Okay, all right, pigeon deadlift. Our toes are in, still have a soft knee, okay? We're going for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Eight. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to keep those down here. Now we are hitting that right foot. Elevated glute bridge. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping you can see me there on the ground. You may not be able to. You may be only seeing a leg here. A little afraid to mess with my camera then. Again, though. All right. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Awesome. All right, guys, weighted hip thrusts are next. I got brave and adjusted my camera. <laughs> Seems like every time I do something with it. It's a disaster, so I'm always hesitant to adjust it after I've got it going, but I want you guys to be able to see. Two. All right. Weighted hip bridges. Elevated or not, whatever you want to do. I'm going to try mine on the ground this time. There we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're going to 20, 10, put those toes up if you want some hamstring action, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome. All right, ready for the second set. I'm still going to stick with the weight I did last time. These pigeons, sometimes my weight gets a little too far forward with these, so I really got to watch my form, okay? All right, we have done one round. We are getting ready for number two. Here we go. So I just have 72 pounds here. All right, here we go. One, two, three, soft knee, squeeze, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome. Okay. This one down here. Get some more weight on this one. for when we're ready. We're going for 16 here. Okay. Still on that right leg. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I was only supposed to do 16. You get four extra. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Definitely a ding bat today, but that's all right. It's all for our own good. If you want to go do four extra on your left leg, go right ahead while I'm getting this huge weight on my hips. <laughs> all right. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. This one we go to 25, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome job. All right, get that weight off of there safely. And we move on to our last set. This set, I'm gonna do 40 pounds per hand. For those deadlifts. And we'll see how it goes. I'm just telling you your weight so that you know what I'm using. I'm not suggesting that you use that. I'm just telling you what it's taken to challenge me today. Whatever you use, it challenges you as a good weight. Don't ever feel like you should be lifting more just because you see somebody else lifting more. That stuff is nonsense. Lift what's challenging for you and be really proud of how far you've come. Don't gauge your progress by someone else's. All right, Whew. here we go. One, put my toes in a little bit more. Two, three, four, five, six. If you're using heavy enough weight, seven. This should be challenging. Eight, even with eight reps. Should be really challenging. Save in one for the hip thrust. All right, blue bridges on the right for 16. <laughs> All right, just so you know, I'm kind of anal about doing the wrong uneven numbers, so probably after I'm done filming, I'll do four extra on my left. So don't feel like a weirdo. One, two, three four, 
five, six, seven, eight, halfway through, nine, you guys are doing great, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Great job. Roll it over, grab that hoss cat of a weight. The last ones I'm gonna do elevated. Super awkward, super effective. All right, this is our last set of this. And then we're done with the workout. Express, all right, moving it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze, seven, squeeze, eight, squeeze, nine, squeeze, 10, squeeze, 11, squeeze, 12, squeeze, 13, squeeze, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Woohoo! All right. Awesome job. Woo. You are finished with this short but sweet wobble before you gobble workout. Let's go ahead and get a drink and we will cool down. Awesome. Woo. Get our timer set here. Woo. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off with some nice bent rockers here. All the things we find on our mats. <laughs> Just rocking here, dynamically stretching out that spine and those hamstrings as they need it. One more each side. One and two. Now we're going to slowly come up. I want us to go toe to toe. Okay, we're still kind of dynamically stretching here. We're telling our body thank you for the amazing things it just did. Now we're going to hold it on one side. We're going to twist that trunk. Stretch that spine out. Awesome, we're coming up. We're gonna come down here. Stretch, twist that spine and stretch it out. Awesome. Now, we're gonna come down on our forearms if we can, or just down to our hands, get a good little hamstring stretch here. Hold it. Walk those hands back up. We'll go heel toe, heel toe back together here. Get those feet. Awesome. We're gonna roll slowly up while we're up here. We're going to get a nice quad stretch, relaxing that leg that we're stretching. And we'll want to tense up on you. All right, other side. Get your balance. Awesome. All right, we're gonna come down to our backs here. We're gonna do some spine stretches. Woo. All right, take that knee in on the right. Hug it nice and tight. Take it out to the right. Press it down. Take it up and over and look over your right shoulder. Make it up if you need more of a stretch. Take it back in. All right, take the left leg in. 
Send it out. The side. Take it up and over. Look over to the left. See if you get any cracks or pops. Bring it back in, hug it, do a couple rocks back and forth here, massage that lower back. Last one. Now we're going to turn over into tabletop position. We're going to shift our hips back. We're going to walk our hands to our feet. We're going to slowly roll it back up, and you are all finished. Great job, guys. I'll see you back up at the camera. Great job, guys, crushing this wobble before you gobble workout. I hope it made your legs nice and shaky, gave you some good plyometric challenge, and will help you get ready for holiday festivities, however you are going to carry them out. Now, before you get on into all that, I need you to drink a lot of water, get a healthy post-workout meal. If you have any questions about what that would be and how to put it together, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com or comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. Other than that, I need you to like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet for more brutal workouts and tips for healthy living. And incidentally, if you didn't count your box jumps, you did 75 of them throughout the course of this workout, five at a time. You also finished 120 hip thrusts, weighted hip thrusts that is, by the end of this workout if that's the move that you chose to do. So telling you how many you did just illustrates one of the points that we like to make here at Velvet Hammer Fitness. Those small choices, those five box jumps in between your sets of squats. Those 20 weighted hip thrusts in between your supersets for hamstrings and glutes, those all added up to make a big difference. You know, we didn't do 75 box jumps in a row, but we still, by making those small choices through the workout, got them in. And that's what you can do this holiday season. Make that next right choice. Maybe it's getting a small workout in. Maybe it's going for that extra cup of water a day. Just gradually increasing your hydration. Uh, maybe it's Loading your plate up with veggies instead of some of the choices that you could make. Maybe it's just letting yourself have a rest day. That's your right choice, okay? Whatever that next right choice is, if you keep making them, they will add up to big results, okay? Because there is no magic pill, no magic potion to be getting in the best shape of your life. It's just a combination of consistent next right choices, or in other words, consistent hard work. So my prayer for you all this holiday season is that you keep making those next right choices, that you also make those choices in other areas of your life. Uh, love the people who are the hardest to love. Be kind, be patient, and just don't get caught up in what this season is not about. So whether you felt like you crushed this heavy legs workout or whether you felt like you just had extraordinarily heavy legs, it is your health today and every day. So, you know what happens. You better hit it hard. Boom! Guys, have an awesome, awesome Thanksgiving. We are beyond thankful for you all the time. And we just hope that you will have safe and blessed holidays. See you soon.